Okay, this is a continuation of the switch statement, information on the switch statement, and I found, I was looking through my old C++ textbook and I actually found a good example of usage of the switch statement and an additional part of the switch statement that I failed to mention in the last video. Alright, so here I found a really nice program where you have to enter the grade for your midterm, okay, and it has to be a char, of course, and we use a switch statement to evaluate the input grade. So if it's a capital A, um, we'll move on to this. Okay, so, so you might have been wondering in the last video, why do switch statements um, continue on to the next case, you know, if, with a, if there's no break? Well, for reasons like this, if you wanted to make a program uh, where the, the user could input either a lowercase or uppercase letter, but it's still the same letter uh, as the input, then something like a switch statement would be pretty convenient because they could put it in any case, literally, uppercase or lowercase. And those are two different cases, so that's interesting. Anyways, um, so if the user puts in capital A or lowercase a for the argument for grade, it's going to say, great, you don't have to take that, uh, take the final and then break. However, if it's a lowercase b or uppercase b, it says good job, study for the final, uppercase c, lowercase c, please try harder. If you get a failing grade, which is not passing, which is d or f, uh, it says please see your advisor, uh, and then break. Also, however, there is a default case, uh, and that's the default case is uh, used by the switch statement when none of these cases are true. Okay, when grade just the argue, the value for grade just isn't one of the values of your case options. It, it goes through all the cases and then at the end it goes to default and does whatever is in default. Okay, so if you put in an invalid grade, maybe you're British and you put in an E. Uh, it's going to say that's not a valid letter grade, and then it's going to break, and then it's going to return zero. So let's try this. Let's run it. It's compiling. Linking. Successful build. Enter your midterm grade. I didn't do so well, so I'm going to put a lowercase d. Please see your advisor. Let's do one. Let's, let's say W, capital W. That's not a valid letter grade. So this switch statement works just fine. Um, don't forget to use default as a default case. Whenever you're using switch statement, you should always, always have a default case. I can't believe I forgot to mention that in the last video, but I did here, so uh, I'm okay.